Fantasius, uh, Alba. Its family name is Fabaceae. Uh, common name is White Eastern Redbud. It's a deciduous tree. Um, it can grow up to 20 to 30 feet. Uh, the spread of the tree can be 15 to 25 feet. Um, it's a flying tree specimen. Uh, it's a good focal point tree. Um, the habitat is native to eastern and midwestern USA. Uh, what is it though? Is it native? Is it a cultivar? Yeah. That's what I got off the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> the horticultural origin. I'm sure he's referring to the species being native. Not being <coughs> Cultivars are genetic freaks. So it would be they are not really. You won't find a native population. Carry on. Um, the culti <laughs> Okay, the cultivation for his full sunlight to light shade uh, likes a moist, drained soil, but is adaptable to most soils that are not always wet. Um, uh, good characteristic of it is the heart-shaped leaves occur on the new growth of the zigzag stems. Uh, white floral buds occur on second-year wood, but can arise from any branches and trunk of the tree. It's a popular small ornamental tree. Um, the growth of it is very slow. Uh, the, leaf, the leaf patterns are a simple leaf pa shape of the ovate. The length of the, each leaf egg can grow up to 2 to 8 inches. Uh, the bark stem is a reddish brown dark. Older branches have a scaly dark brown that exfoliates some to reveal orange color inner bark. That's all I got. Okay, that's not bad. There is one problem with it. What is the problem with it? Oh, I forgot the pest and stuff too. Okay. Uh, are, there, are there significant pests? Remember I cautioned well, you about listing pests because if you do research, it'll list every insect in the world. Well, I found that the Eastern Redbud has a few pests. Uh, stem canker, uh, leaf spots, and verticillium wilt may be a problem. Verticillium wilt is probably our biggest problem. Yeah, and then it also said that plant may experience insect damage from leaf rollers, tree hoppers, and aphids. Yeah, and you can see that actually on this, Eric, right above your head there. Second leaf in, next leaf in, that one. Pull that one off, Munch. please. And look at the edge of it, and you can see this, like, it's like some oh, yeah. big insect's taking one big chunk out of it. Is it the <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, okay, before Eric got to it, it was the leaf cut of bees that has taken that, and they cut it out, and... I believe, I could be wrong on this, but I think they take it and put it in their nest and it ferments and they yeah. grow some sort of fungi to feed their young. Do we have those here? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I